All right, let's see what links we have today. I'm sure everyone, even non Surely have stumbled across stuff. a furry character and took a liking to them. That's pretty normal, but that's only semi-relevant to what I'm talking about today. Hello everyone, I'm Solar Saber, and today I'll be going over characters that are furry bait. Let's start, of course, on what the definition of furry bait is. In my words, a character that is furry bait almost always grabs the attention of furries and in most cases is designed to do so. For example, a character like Mickey Mouse is not furry bait. Yes, he's a talking animal, but he wasn't designed with furry characteristics, and most furries don't obsess over him. If a character is furry bait, it does not always mean that it's a character's furries find attractive, even though that happens most of the time. It could be a character that furries just think are cool or interesting. So now that that's out of the way, we can get into characters that are most definitely furry bait. First up on the list, we have Catra from She-Ra and the Princesses of Power. You cannot tell me this is not furry bait. She is a cat girl for crying out loud. Her design attracts furries because she's not drawn as a normal girl with cat ears and a cat tail slapped on her. She's got cat eyes, claws, fur on certain parts of her body. She even hisses and purrs. Her mannerisms are also very cat-like in general. Furries see a character like this and absolutely run with it. So yes, Catra is in fact furry bait. Next up, we have Zara Aura from Pokemon. If you showed me this character and I wasn't as knowledgeable about Pokemon as I am, I would not believe this was a Pokemon. I would think this was the protagonist in some new action adventure furry anime that I didn't know about. Look at this thing! This literally looks like someone's edgy fursona. Someone on the Pokemon design team definitely knew what they were doing when they made this. Honestly, there is a reason so many people have fursonas based on Pokemon. It's because so many Pokemon are furry bait. I'm not gonna get started on Lucario, but we all know that he's free bait too. Moving right along, Enid's dad, Bernard, from OKKO is without a doubt furry bait. Bernard is a reverse werewolf, so he's a wolf all the time except on a full moon where he turns human. He's the friendly neighborhood dad, he just happens to be a wolf most of the time. My main evidence for his design being one with furries in mind ties back to his character designer. Bernard was designed by Stevie Borboya, and while I don't have proof Stevie is a furry, they have made original characters that are furries. So I mean, that's that's gotta be something, right? Anyways, another furry bait. Anyways, indeed. All good with furry bait, but what do you do once you catch them? No way, I already know what you're gonna do. Uh, Alright.